what's up everybody and welcome back to incursion red river today we are jumping into a, another few missions here to see how this game is and uh pick up pretty much where we left off at the end of the last video that i did they actually dropped a patch that kind of fixed a, a various amount of things this game still is in early access of course so it's not going to be perfect but i uh, it's the first video did a little bit better than i expected so we're gonna jump into at least one other one today if you guys end up enjoying this leaving a like on it makes a huge difference and if we hit that you know 20 like goal then i'll, I'll go ahead and do my best to record another few episodes so uh first thing we got to do here is select a job then select our loadout once that's all good to go we'll go ahead and deploy and uh go from there but we're probably gonna be rocking solo again today because i uh, yeah i'm just feeling like doing some more solo runs maybe eventually i honestly i don't even know what the player count is right now um so i would have to look into that too to, before we would actually end up doing it but um last time we we did do an install bugs mission we did the plant the bomb one and same thing with did we do secure intel let's grab secure intel i'm not sure if i did that one last time and now that we've got that i think we still have the same challenges as before yep so we need to find fuel also find some food and then extract three times which we've done twice so far but we'll see if we're a little bit off to, uh, better off today last time the first mission i got absolutely wrecked second one actually pretty smooth third one pretty smooth and then i think i did like one final quick run got destroyed there too but uh that's okay that's all right it was uh still an intro to the game so i i understand where we're going for here we grab the akm uh bring at least do we have a tactical oh yeah i think i have stuff inside here the backpack oh here it is there we go nothing in there yeah, and this stuff's kind of cheap too so i could always like go and grab more if i needed do we have any pistols we do yep there's one i'll grab it and bring it with me just in case stick with that there is some medical items and then we've got some like spray cans and stuff i don't know if we actually need any of those uh maybe i'll try and buy some some meds real quick because i haven't used them at all most of the time when i got shot uh i was either I'd, I'd shoot the enemy back before they could actually hit me or the times that i did actually get hit i was dead so say so we got painkillers here we'll add two to the cart it tells you how many will be left over and then yeah i think we'll leave it at that we'll just buy these two adrenaline injection i don't think it's great out though so i don't think you can actually buy it now does it throw it into my inventory or let's see if it's over here now okay yep oh we already had to apparently let's split these and let's start it down here all right i think that's that's it i won't bring a helmet you know what i will bring a helmet i will bring one starting out okay cool let's just rock with this uh hopefully we find i mean luckily when you kill some npcs or some enemies you're able to find a lot of uh backpacks pretty early on so we should be able to do that let's go ahead and do private session loadout time okay like the mission we're going to the quarry that's currently the only map available and then we'll go so it gives you nighttime or daytime operation we'll do the daytime 9 57 a.m deploy and let's see uh let's see what we got i'll take it a little bit slow today because i got a got i got a good feel for the game last time and then like one of the last missions that i ran um i tried speeding up everything to see if like okay maybe i can you know pick up the pace and it i was doing fine up until one guy he he spotted me and he took me out so fast 
But we'll just go at a slower pace today. Yeah, after... Uh, so I think it's four. Okay, cool. Yep, I still remember the controls a bit. So there's the container that we got to grab. I'm trying to see what route we can take to get up there. So I can either go to the right here or go down left here and then come up. I think that I think going left might be a better route. So we'll try going down here, get to this area, go up this cliff. And then once we get in here, then we'll go in there. Make sure these are ready to go. Primary, secondary. All right, cool. Get moving. Oh, man. It changed my toggle off again. Let me see if I can change that back real fast here. Yeah, after the, uh, it seems like the patch changed a lot of the settings again. Which is fine. I mean, that's usually what happens. So, different game. But I've been seeing a lot of people earlier, or towards the end of the last week, at the time of recording this, and now this week, at the time of recording this, uh, people are still playing the Ray Zone Warfare game. And that looks so much fun. I cannot wait to get my hands on it. I wasn't invited for any of the creator portions. If they ever do a open portion, I'm, I also didn't really try, so I'm not sure, but, uh, it looks pretty cool. It's pretty much like a, it seems like a more accessible version of Tarkov in a way where you just spawn in, you call a helicopter in to take you to different parts of the map. You try and collect stuff. You can unlock new helicopter locations for you to grab things. There's three factions, whichever team, you know, I don't, I don't know if there's like an overall goal. It seemed like a lot of people were just playing it for playing it, but, uh, well, let me see where we're at, but you choose like one of three factions and then you go out and just do, uh, grab what items that you can. You have like tasks and all of that. Then you can grab a helicopter location, call it in, go back to the area, the like spawn point, trade in your items, grab the next thing, buy new items, whatever the case is, and then keep going. Oh, we got an enemy. Thought so. But it seemed pretty cool. I watched a few streamers Playing it like Lyric. It's got some nice voiceover IP or VoIP too, proximity chat built into it from the start. That's always makes for a fun time. All right, it's gonna be going. Honestly, if there's an opening up here for me to get in, then I'll do this. So we'll change course a little bit. But yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to that whenever that it's supposed to be coming out this year fully. And the nice thing is, too, like it doesn't have that issue where Tar Tarkov has where you like select your loadout and everything. You manage your inventory and then you find match for like a good five to ten minutes. Then actually load in. This one is just you spawn at that home base. When you die, you spawn back at the home base. There's really, there's like one time load in and that's it. Okay. Just checking for guys. I think it's going to be in that building over there. Like somewhere over there it's our objective oh I have been walking this whole time I thought I was crouched for some reason okay 
Ooh, loot the container. Okay, and there's nothing in the container. Love it. Oh, I hear a guy. I think he's on the other side of the wall. Oh, there's another one. Prepped meal. Okay. That's something that we actually needed. Shoot, I don't have a backpack, though, so I can't just, like, grab these things. Oh, God. Yeah, I need a... Crap, I need to get a backpack. The one negative of not bringing one. I should also check to see how much the backpacks actually are. Definitely inside this building here. Yeah, this game's been pretty cool so far, though. Like, I definitely like it. It just seems like it's got a little bit to go. It's def definitely an early access game. That's kind of cool how when you shoot, like, the sounds around you quiet. Like the birds and everything started getting quiet there. Did nobody really hear that? I'm gonna loot him real quick. The guy, there's a guy, there's a guy. See him. Whoa, what the heck? You're moving up. Not bad. Right there, at least. Okay, they both have M4, M4A1s. We grab the backpack. Yeah, that's what I need. And actually, let's keep this in here. Grab that. The, do the guns fit in the backpacks? Well, I'm just curious. Yeah, okay, cool. It does. All right, well, I'm going to grab this thing still. I would like to see. It's kind of weird that you can't put an M4. Like, you can only put this into your primary. And your secondary, I guess, can only be like a submachine gun. I kind of wish that it... I, I don't know if there's any other games that do that where you can... It has to be like a specific weapon for your primary and secondary. I mean, it makes it sense for your holster for that to be like a pistol, right? But, oh man, it would, I, I think I kind of want to swap out my gun, even though I have two of these. Mm, I still have two magazines right here. I just would love to be able to grab this thing and bring it with me. Does this hold more magazines than my current? Okay, it does. All right, let's do this then. Actually, let's swap these here. I'll still have room for one more magazine. Oh, it takes less medical stuff though. That's all. Okay. 
I drop this. Grab that. And then instead of taking this thing, we'll go like this. For these two, I'll drop this tactical rig and let's grab the gun. Let me actually one up here. There. And, huh? Oh, this one's different from the other one. It's like, oh, wait, does it have it? It looks like it might have a longer barrel or something compared to the other one. You know what? All right, fine. I'll put this gun in my inventory. Or can you only put it like up and down? What is happening? Can we get to the other one? grab this okay yeah yeah it it has a different barrel and everything huh all right you know what we'll do this then for the sake of the other one potentially being better I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I don't know I didn't bring the MP5 magazine, did I? I don't know. <laughs> I might have put that in there when I initially came out and I didn't even bother to grab an MP5. I'm just now realizing this. Maybe. I, I would have to go back on the VOD though to see. All right, let's drop this gun. I'm going to take this one. Okay, nice. Quick ammo. Looking good there. So, I saw somebody ask asked a question about checking ammo and stuff. And um, so the way it works is if you press and hold, you'll check whatever your reload button is. If you press and hold it, it checks it and it shows you how much is left. Uh, if you double tap your reload button, which for me it's R then you're going to do a quick reload where you're going to drop the magazine because there's nothing left in there or you're just trying to reload as fast as you can. Um, got him. Okay, not bad. Barrel on this one looks a little odd right now that okay this guy's actually got a mp5 nice nice rsp helmet okay that's pretty much the same one we've got right now and a bigger backpack hell yeah throw this up here let me actually grab the mp5 ammo for this there Awesome. All right, love to see that. Let me check inventory again. All right, so the objective is, it must be outside there. We've got a decent amount. Let's move up a little. check what this guy's got okay not bad not bad let's get back up to the objective here I kind of have a decent amount of stuff right now so I don't want to spend too much time here We need to secure the container. It's got to be somewhere around here. Nothing there. I don't know if it's just like place a, a bug onto one of these. 
or not like place a bug, but Jeez, where? Oh. Got him. Ouch. I am getting a little bit reckless. Let me try let's try using it. Okay, so there's no. <laughs> so I used the uh the pills right there, but there's no indicator. Or anything like that. So all it does is it... Um, like, there's no animation. It just uses it. Okay, there's another container right here. Oh, here we go. Some more food to grab. Do I still have room in here? I do. Okay. Place here any mission intel. Oh, wait. Did I not pick up the intel? Oh, you have to go to this thing and then come back here. Oh, no. <laughs> Secure the intel, place the intel, extract. Wait, but it says secure container. Hold on, let me see. Go to the marked. This one says secure container. Oh, but then underneath it says place any mission intel. Collect this item, place it here. Okay. Well... I guess we didn't do this one before. Or if I did, I did not read it over it like that. Oh, we had to secure the container and then go and take it somewhere else or just extract. Turns out that's not the case. Check here. All right, let's make sure we're going the right way. Yep. So as long as we kind of go straight, it's probably like past those shipping containers down there. The nice thing is I haven't really been to this side of the map yet, so this area is kind of new for me. Reload. Okay. Thought I had some full magazines, just wanted to make sure. And before we keep going, let me actually... I think we have enough to reload... A full magazine. Oh, okay. It shows 30 out of 30. Wait, I unload? Oh. Okay. Maybe it just automatically reloads it if you have some spare rounds. Because I was that's what I was trying to do right there is go back into my inventory, go to that magazine that was low on on rounds, and then put some new ones into it. But it seems like it I might have not needed to. I don't know if that's an automatic thing. Okay, all I know is we're going the right way so far. And, alright, so we're over here. Okay. I hear somebody. At least I thought I did.
No, I, I for sure hear somebody walking. Yep. It does seem like taking some of them out. Not, I mean, the enemies don't seem to have like the greatest hearing. So that's kind of why I'm I'm not really afraid to to shoot at somebody if I see them. I'd rather take them out now than you know get spotted by somebody else and then have to take them out. It seems like a lot of the enemies are not like they're not that bright yet. And I'm not sure if turning up the difficulty like increases the AI or if it just has them do more damage or makes them more accurate. Oh, oh, the sniper. God, I'm moving, I'm moving. Use these. I see him. Got him. The heck? That was such a random, like, this guy actually spotted me. Okay. We're doing fine. Check this. Okay, so it's in, it, it's either in that tower, like, up top. Or... Where's this guy's body? Should be around here. Oh. Let me try to take this guy out. Okay. He's actually kind of far. His body now. All right, I, I lost him. I know he was somewhere around here. It's okay. He didn't. He didn't look. Oh, there he is. He didn't look like he had much on him though. Like maybe just. Yeah, it's an MP5. MP5 SD. Looks like it. Oh, it's got a silencer on it. Looks like. Let's actually take that one instead. Drop that. Take this. All right, let's see. So right now, I'm actually going to reload this, and it should put this 24 magazine over here. But I'm not sure if I have any extra rounds. Oh, wait, no, it drops. Wait, does it always drop the magazine? Huh. But I just picked up. Oh, there it is. I did pick it up. Wait, so does it always drop the magazine if you reload? Hold on now. Now I need to look. It does. So it doesn't do the double tap R. I swore it did. But I guess, yeah, like right there, he just ejects it. And if we look onto the ground. So what happens if I do the double tap R? Does that do anything? Or what if I just keep reloading? Huh. Wait, so now he's actually... Alright, now I'm confused. 
So I just picked up that magazine. He drops that one, but reloads this. So... From what it seems like, if you have three magazines, you'll automatically drop one of them. But if you have two, one in your inventory and one in your actual gun, you'll swap between the two. Because right now I have three, and if I go to reload, he's just going to drop the magazine. Like He turns it sideways, drops the magazine, reloads in a new one. But then if you reload again, like ready, so he's going to turn it to the side, it drops, reloads. But now if I reload again, he's going to physically take the magazine out and put out a new, put in a new one like that. And if I reload again, same thing, puts it back in. But if I pick up this, now I have three magazines. I have one in the gun and then two in my inventory. Can actually try this? He's like right above on the other side of this. Hey, any intel on that crash over there? Hey, you got any spare water left? You got any spare water left? Got him. Okay, it was actually kind of nice having a uh, an old radio. Kind of nice having a silencer right there. Let's see. Do I have enough room to drop all these or take these? Mission Intel. Secure the Intel. Go to the marked outpost on the map and secure the Intel. It might be up there inside the building, actually. to stand up to open the door all the way. Old communicator. Looking good here. Is this the mission intel? We got keys, we got a headphones, headphones set, computer. See, am I right on top of it? I think it is in that box then. Yeah, it's got to be that box at the bottom of the steps. I go back down there. I just don't think there was anything that indicated like this is mission intel. 
Yeah. Okay. So right here. Oh, it's this. Is it? Is it this thing right on top of it? Not enough space. It's that little paper on top of it. All right, let me drop some uh, some stuff here. Graphics card. I mean, right now I don't know what sells for good and what doesn't, so I'm just gonna drop, pick up, pick up any extra items. Not enough space. Operation Plan A. Okay, Intel secured. All right, now we gotta go back over there. Let's go the same route we did before. And I'll I'll pick up the pace a little bit here. get back onto this road up here. Actually, if we go up here, it should be fine. Okay, this is a decent length uh, mission right now, doing this one. See? Oh, okay. I remember this. Yeah, this is where I saw the one guy that I shot um, on the hill. And then I started talking. I think his body's right there. Yep. Just blast through this. I'm not going to bother checking his inventory right now because I'm doing pretty good on mine. I just wanted to get rid of him so I didn't have to worry about him anymore. Okay, cool. Moving here. Go on moving up. Trying to stay vigilant. Okay, that container should be, I think it's that one right there. Oh, wait, no. Right over here. Do I need a... Pl it might be place it right here. Let's see. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Yep. Even though it has that... <laughs> it's kind of funny. It has the, uh, the icon for ammo. Alright, let's check our objective. Yep, place it. Alright, now we just gotta extract... And there's one right there, or there's one back here. I'll try going for this one. The thing is, I know this base is probably going to be a little bit more active, but as long as we can get to the end, we're fine. Okay. in there. See a guy. I don't think I've used this extract yet either.
Okay, we're almost there. That's kind of suck. Half the mission was kind of spent. Uh, going to the secure the container first. But that's okay. It, got, it gave me a good layout of the rest of this location. So not, not too bad. Not too bad. I know that guy was around here. I saw him. Okay, so that's our extract right there. You coming up behind me? He might be. There's gotta be some intel in that airfield. Shoot. All right, let's get out of here. Let's move. Let's move. Let's move. I'm out. I'm out. Ten. Two. One. Boom. There it is. That was actually pretty good. Yeah, that, that was a good one. Wow. I, uh, first one of the day. <laughs> Raw, uncut, on none of that, just right in, right out. Job complete. Let's see what he says. It's weird that it puts, um, your most recent emails and stuff. Oh, wait, we got more rewards from the last one, too. Oh, wow. I never picked the other ones up. Yeah, it's weird that it doesn't put your emails to the top. It puts it towards the bottom. Get rid of these then. Oh, nice. And it locks you from uh, getting rid of this other stuff. You have to receive the items first. And then you can clear it. Cool. We're at $11,000 now. Not too bad. We got some free items from that too. Uh, we got the old communicator. This gun was pretty cool. I mean, both of these are pretty awesome. Having a silencer on the MP5 was nice there. Um, let's see. We got this thing. Let me actually throw this over here. Yeah, we collected a decent amount. Out there. Take everything out. I really like how you have like a stash too and then you have like boxes for weapons ammunition gear medical that way it's like you have tons of in inventory like you I mean to be honest you really shouldn't be running out because <laughs> there's I mean I can throw one backpack here I could probably throw in like night vision goggles or whatever the case is here too same thing medical like if I want to throw this, I can put that there. Like we got like a grip, a flashlight. All the ammunition I could like throw in here. 
MP5, AK, and then you can buy more for like 4,000 bucks. It's not too bad. Not bad right there. May actually clear out the rest of this stuff. Let's get rid of the graphics card. What is the 60 round for? Key mag? No way it works on like one of these. Slot is not free. Are you telling me that if I take that? No way. Hold on now. It dies. <laughs> that's crazy. I mean, that. hey, that's pretty sick, though. That is pretty sick. That's a beefy magazine right there. Yeah, so I guess it... I don't know. I'm kind of in between on whether... I guess if you bring three magazines of one type, you have to... You have to be conscious of it. Because... They're your third one, the first time you reload, you're going to drop it. But if you only have two magazines, like one in your inventory and one in your gun, you'll switch between the two. But in that case, you'll need to bring um, the actual rounds if you want to refill that other magazine. So, I guess you got to be conscious of that. But... Um, I think because, uh, you know, a, another run could go a little bit lengthy. Uh, I think we're going to call this right here. So if you guys did enjoy this, leave a like on it. Let me know in the comments if you got any suggestions or like if you have any feedback, just let me know. Um, this was the second time playing. So if this one does well, again, I'll go ahead and record some more episodes and then we'll kind of take it from there. I'm not sure how much we can, we can really do with this game because there's only like a few mission types and it's the same map over and over but i would definitely be keeping an eye on my on, on this game to see what they come out with because it i think it's a good starting point it's just got a lot of work to go is all but that's it thanks for watching i'll see you on the next one peace